Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I go plant shopping at one of the best nurseries I've ever been to. It's called Big Bloomers and it's about two hours away from where I live. So I don't get to visit that often, but when I do, I just always know it's going to be an over budget but worth it video. And their plants are actually very reasonably priced. It's not an expensive nursery at all. That's one of the reasons I love it is that I can find affordable plants there. But it's one of my favorites and I know it's gonna be over budget because they have so many unusual plants that I can't seem to find anywhere else. So I'm really excited to share them with you all today. These episodes usually end up being a little bit longer because they have not only a huge house plant um, philodendron, aeroids, section, tropical plants, but also a, a blow my mind cactus and succulent section that is so, so wonderful. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. And as you can see, I am a crazy plant person. I'm proud. We all are in this community. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe. We also have a great community on Instagram. Now, as I'm shopping, let me know if any plants jump out at you, which plants you would pick out, you know, if you were shopping with me today. If there's a plant that I'm still learning, cactus and succulents. So if you see something that's rare, unusual, a good find, let me know in the comments so I can learn from all of you. Now I always share my haul at the end of the video and I just know this one is an epic haul. Um, they always are when I go to big bloomers. Now a huge thank you to Homaglow for sponsoring this episode. Thanks to them I have some time freed up today so I can go and do some plant shopping. Homaglow is a five star house cleaning service with super affordable prices. Now with holidays here I'm so so busy and big thanks to Homaglow because now I have some time freed up today that I'm able to go and do some plant shopping, which is amazing. Their online booking capabilities allow you to instantly schedule a cleaner in your area, whether it's for a party or a special occasion or just take the work off of your plate. Now, it was incredibly easy to schedule a cleaning. All I had to do was go to the Homeaglow website, I chose the day and time I was looking for and the duration of my cleaning and I got to see all of the available cleaners. Now here's some before and after pictures. They did such a deep clean and to have some help with cleaning is worth every single penny. I love that I could browse different photos and reviews of background checked cleaners before finding the right one for me. And you can also sign up for their Forever Clean membership, which saves you $30 an hour on all future cleanings. So as I said, with the holidays right around the corner, things are starting to get busier than ever. Take home cleaning off your plate by using Homaglow. Head to homaglow.com slash plantlifewithashleyanita to get your first cleaning for only $9. All right, time for shopping at Big Bloomers. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to let me know which plants you would have picked out today. And I'll be sharing my plant haul at the end of the video. All right, I'm here at my favorite spot. Can't wait to see what I can find. In here, it looks like they have mostly herbs and spices and all sorts of neat stuff like that. But I do see some succulents and some house plants, so I'm just gonna check that out. It looks like they have some snake plants here, some samurai snake plants. They're 10.95 in these hanging baskets. Some burrow's tail here, $14.95. And they're really nice, large size baskets, so healthy. I'm always impressed by the health of the plants at this nursery, the price, the size, the selection. I mean, it's always amazing. This is an interesting type of burrow's tail. I know there's different varieties, but I like the color of this one and the way these little leaves are shaped in $14.95. There's a lot of plants in each basket. This one is a Sedum Morganianum Burrito, $14.95. Looks like a burrow's tail, but a bit different. These were the other ones that I was looking at. Look how amazing this little succulent is. I love it. I haven't even gotten to the house plant section yet and they already have such amazing plants.
So as you saw, there are tons of house plants in this greenhouse and there are more greenhouses to explore. But first off the bat, look at these beautiful Hoya macrophyllas. The leaves are huge. They're even a bit sun stressed, which looks so beautiful. Look at this Hoya macrophylla. You can see the pink on the leaves from the sun stressing. Such a beautiful Hoya. Wow, look at that. Who knew a macrophylla could be such a gorgeous purple color? They have them here for $24.95 for these nice baskets. Wow, here's a Hoya I have not seen before. Hoya Angleriana Vietnam. How interesting. Look at the little, little baby leaves on this. I love it. $29.95 for this. Ooh, this one's nice and healthy. Kind of a bigger basket of it. Some nice size Hoya Australis Lisa, $24.95. That's a good deal on this plant. I remember buying like a little tiny Hoya Lisa and it was so expensive. These are beautiful. Um, similar to the just green Australis, good growers. So, so lovely. Look, they have so many plants, it's so exciting. Hoya Chelsea, $19.95 for these beautiful Hoya Chelsea's. I love the heart-shaped heart leaf on this type of Hoya. So beautiful. Have one in my collection and I adore it. Hoya Black Margin, this is such a neat plant. Around the outside of the leaves, it has kind of a black outline and the leaves themselves have some interesting veining, which is always fun with a Hoya. And they have so many here. I can't believe I've only been here for a couple minutes and I'm already seeing all of these incredible, insane plants. Hoya linearis, $24.95. This is a fabulous, fabulous Hoya. It's turned into one of my favorites. Look at these delicate, delicate leaves. What's this one over here? Hoya callistophylla. $44.95 Hoya Callistophylla. Look at that. Hanging over here are a bunch of String of Hearts. $12.95 for these nice full baskets. That is amazing. This is a type of nursery where you really have to take your time and look at everything. Check out all of the hanging baskets. These are all begonias hanging up here. Dragon wing begonia baskets. They're $13.95 for these beautiful begonia baskets because there's just amazing plants everywhere. Oh my goodness. They have Hoya Carnosa Compacta over there. Let me go look. Ooh, Hoya Croniana. A super fast, wonderful Hoya. $21.95. Now, if you enjoy the look of Hoya Curtisii, but you struggle with it, I know I do, this is a great Hoya, this Hoya Croniana. There's all different varieties. You can get Splash, um, ones with more silver, less silver. And this one is much easier, I find, to take care of than the Curtisii, but you still get those really beautiful leaves. These are $21.95, stunning. Lots of Calathea varieties looking so healthy these are $8.95 now it is hot in here it's really cold outside and sometimes the greenhouses can be cold it is warm 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 in here so these plants have to be so healthy and happy with that oh this is an interesting one Hoya gracilis look at the sun stress on that I have this plant and it looks the leaves look like this but it looks like given enough sun, they can turn purpley. I love, love that. Ooh, some more interesting Calatheas. We have White Fusion here. The White Fusions are beautiful, $27.95. Oh, yep. And then we have some Yellow Fusion, harder to find in this area than the White Fusion, $29.95. Oh, this one is beautiful. I love this one. Um, it's labeled Tigrina, $4.95. It looks similar to the Zabrina, but it has purple on the backs of the leaves. So lush, so velvety. I'm very tempted to give this one another chance instead of the $20 or more that I usually see it for in the nurseries. Um, you know, Calatheas can be somewhat of a challenge for me because I do enjoy 
water and humidity. Um, but golly, this is such a beautiful, beautiful velvety leaf. Some more calatheas. Okay, look, some syngonium. Now, look at this one. When syngonium leaves become mature, they put off more and more lobes. So when you see them in their natural habitat with their large leaves, they don't look anything like the juvenile leaves. They look more like coming into this shape. I wonder what type this is. It says pink splash. I have some Hoya Carnosa compactas here, $29.95. Oh, guys, look! Hoya Hushkeliana variegata. Wonderful, wonderful Hoya. I do have one myself. It's one of my, um, you know, expensive but worth it plants. And mine has grown really fast. It enjoys light. It enjoys being watered when it dried out. And the leaves are so beautiful. Have that nice variegation on there. They're $34.95. What stunning plants. Have some more syngonium here kind of checking it out these are labeled pink splash they're $19.95 for these pink splash these leaves are so beautiful what is this one okay we have some syngonium batik $5.95 in cre oh my gosh guys they have syngonium confetti this is one of my absolute favorite syngonium I had to fix the exposure so you could see the pink on there. Isn't it so beautiful? Let's see how much they are here. $4.95 for a confetti syngonium. Okay, I already have one of these, but I'm gonna have to get another one for $4.95. <gasps> that is a steal. You cannot find these anywhere. And for $4.95, look at this large one. $4.95. That's insane. I'm telling you. Oh, I wish this place was closer, but I also don't because I would be here every five minutes. This is so beautiful, this syngonium. Ooh, look, look, look. $29.95. Hoya Hindi Rope. Um, variegated. Hoya Carnosa Compactas. That is a great deal. Again, you don't see them around that much. I am seeing them a little bit more but they're so expensive so $29.95 for some hanging baskets of this is great lots of holiday cactus different colors so beautiful crimson queens $17.95 see what else we have here Ooh, they have Deshidia watermelon this is one that I have been wanting to add to my collection Kind of hard to find. These are $29.95. Look at these. I love these leaves. It looks so much like a Hoya or even a Peperomia, but it is a Deschidia. That's some nice sun stressing. I love how some of these are climbing up the baskets. <gasps> okay, that's a maybe. Down here you can see some of their little prop boxes, kind of interesting to see. Looks like some Brantianum and Cebu Blue, some variegated vanilla orchid perhaps. Look, some Sissus Discolor, $14.95. What a fabulous deal. Look at the size of this plant. So beautiful. Okay, yes. Huh. This is called Streptocarpus. Blue Ice, $5.95. They always have really interesting Chattiscantia varieties. This one's so pretty. It has purple and green and all sorts of different colors in there. It's Callista Repens Bianca, $13.95. Bunch of vanilla bean orchid back there, $14.95. Some more vanilla bean. This is a variegated version, 15. Tradescantia lilac, Tradescantia elegans, Jose Puig, discolor, multicolor. Again, so many different varieties. Oh, I'm like <gasps> peeking through down here on the other side. Okay, exciting stuff. 
I get out of breath every time I come here because of all the amazing plants. There was an interesting one over here I noticed when I walked in. Ficus Shiverana Moonshine. Look at those leaves, they're so beautiful. And speckled, kind of marbled. I have not seen this plant before. Coming into even more exciting house plants. Saw some pretty cool stuff in this lane. I can't wait to check it out. They do have a few orchid varieties. Um, different Phalaenopsis. Here's a Streptocarpus hybrid with lady slippers. That's pretty interesting. Taka Chantruri bat plant. These have those really cool blooms that look like a bat. I've been seeing these around. That's so interesting that they're starting to come into the market now. Merdania Bright Star. Look like it had some blooms on there. Oh, we have some jewel orchids. Let's see what variety. So these are $8.95. And there's some lightning ones. Oop. Okay, $8.95. These are so, so lovely. 15 for these lightning ones. Look how beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, these are my favorite ones right here. My favorite, favorite type of jewel orchid. They enjoy humidity, but if you put them in an area with enough humidity, they will thrive. Different apiscias here. See how much these apiscias are. $6.95 for the Apiscias, African Violets. Some lovely, lovely African Violets. This one looks just like roses, doesn't it? They are $6.95. Again, I was showing down here, but up here we see tons of hanging baskets, some really nice Peperomias. This is Peperomia Pepper Spot, which I love that name, Pepper Spot, $12.95. And it looks like some more Peperomia Scandens here, $14.95. Peperomia Amigo Marcello, $12.95. So lush, such a, a beauty, stunning plant. Codanthe Devociana, this is a really neat one. I have one of these, $12.95. Very easy, easy to take care of. Succulenty leaves. Some assorted lipstick plant varieties up here, $14.95. Really, really fun alocasia varieties. Hilo Beauty, $4.95 for these Hilo Beauties. Looks how pretty they are. Alocasia Stingray, $4.95. These are so fun. They look like a little stingray, the leaf shape does. $4.95 is a great deal. Um, these can get huge if they're planted like in the ground or in their natural habitat. Alocasia sinuata, that's an interesting variety. $8.95, silver dragon, black velvet, $4.95. See what else? Oh, this looks like, um, oh, Alocasia sarion. How beautiful is that? $4.95 for the Alocasia sarion. Sarian Dragon Scale Tiny Dancer Frydeck 495 Silver Dragon Black Black Infernalis 34.95 Alocasia Dragon Tooth 29.95 Frydeck We have some Alocasia Zabrina here you can tell by the stems I remember when I went to the Tropical Plant International Expo and I saw so many alocasias everywhere and I knew it was gonna be the year of alocasia and that is the truth. I've seen so many amazing alocasias on the market. I'm very excited to see um, what comes in next year. These are beautiful. Caladium Fallen City. Very interesting. Oh, look at these. I can't believe they actually have some caladiums. New red, $7.95. They just have the perfect environment for them in here. Here's some Scandens variegated peperomias. Oh, look. Wow, this is a cool peperomia. 
I've never seen this before. Look at that. It's like little nodes of leaves that have the elongated shape, but it's in little bunches. What kind of peperomia is this? I don't see it labeled anywhere. If you know, leave it in the comments. Look at this one. That's so cool. I think it's a peperomia. I don't know how much it is. I don't know what kind it is, but they're really fun. I love that. In the anthurium section, I see some bird's nest anthurium back here. These are really pretty. I went to the UNC Charlotte um, Botanical Gardens and they had an anthurium like this and it was this color, but the little, but is it a, gosh, of course my mind's going blank, but this piece here was curly like a pig's tail. I know it begins with an S, that thing I, oh gosh, I should look it up. Anthurium fingers. I will say with anthurium fingers, if it dies off, don't get rid of it because more, more than likely it will come back. It's very, very hardy. It's a very hardy plant. Ruby Cascade, Peperomias here. Look at this one, that's pretty. Peperomia in Canna, $14.95. I have one of these, it's wonderful. It's very fuzzy, the leaves are fuzzy. It's interesting, you know, it's not the type of plant that you see all the time. Um, and it's very easy to take care of. Polynesian Ivy, $6.95 here. Also a really cool plant, $6.95 is a great deal on that. Begonia Conchifolia, Red Ruby, $13.95. Love this plant, how it has the little little red dot in the center. Coming into some more Rex begonias. So, so lovely. Snake plants. Let's see, they have a nice assortment of snake plant varieties. They have um, some variegated whale fins. $69.95 for that variegated whale fin. It has four plants in there, which is a good deal. Regular whale fin. Some bird's nest sansevieria. Look at this Peperomia scandens. Variegated, it's so lush. So lush, so beautiful. Looks like back here are some variegated lipstick plants. Really nice. Some ZZ plants. 14, oh, $11.95 for the four inch ones. $14.95 for the ZZ Ravens. Beautiful ZZ plants, ooh. Here we have some Aglionemas. I'm obsessed with these ones that have the very red leaves with limited green, that's awesome. Aglionema Lucky Red, $6.95. That is a great find right there. Some more prop boxes. Begonias, really stunning. Look how red they are. They're so red, they're just <laughs> popping off camera. Zebra plants, $6.95 for zebra plants, purple passions, Pilea peperomioides, $4.95, fabulous. Then we have some more of this Peperomia Incana, $11.95, such a good deal. Some more Pilea peperomioides, always keeping an eye out for a potentially variegated one. Some more peperomias here. They're all $5. Metallica here. What a neat peperomia. Red log. Okay, this looks like the one that was in that big basket, but they're small, they're $6.95, and they're Kim Nachi. That is so fun, I love that one. Peperomia Radiance, $4.95. Peperomia Amigo Marcello, Marcello, Peperomia Hope, $6.95. Coming into some really fun Peperomias, Colum, Colum, Columella. Love this Peperomia. I had one, I think I let it sit in water for too long and it got a bit of root rot. 
but I'm obsessed with this plant. I may have to get another one because I love it so much. Gosh, so many wonderful peperomias here. Ones I never see anywhere. Funky frog. Peperomia, love it. Look at all these. Meridiana. Meridiana maculata variegated, 9.95. What a beauty. Jitterbug. Jitterbug there. Orba variegata, Quito. Pink marble. 11.95 for the pink marble. Really pretty. Look at the variegation on that pink marble. Some beautiful black pagoda lipstick plants, $13.95. That's the best deal on a black pagoda lipstick plant I've ever seen. So beautiful. Really excited about this aisle. It's all the philodendrons and pothos and so many fun varieties. Here we have dragon tail, raffidophora tetrasperma, $5.95. Oh, $4.95 on these. That is insane. Wow. So wonderful. They have up here in the baskets, Skindapsa silverian, $21.95. So beautiful. Ooh. Enjoy pothos. Oh, look. Shangri-La pothos. I really love this pothos. It's so different than any of the other plants I have. $29.95. It's an Epipremnum Shangri-La. And it's just really cool how these leaves grow like spinach and kind of balled up like that. You know, mine, the leaves opened up. So I'm not sure. I'm sure it has something to do with light that means that the leaves open up and what keeps them kind of bunched up like that, but I just think it is the coolest plant. Last time I came, I found some really interesting pothos varieties here. Cebu Blue, let's see how much these Cebu Blue are, $9.95. Really lovely, ooh, we have some Monstera Peru. Monstera Peru, $14.95. $14.95, oh my, I just said it and didn't even think about what, $14.95 for Monstera Peru. Monstera Pinati Partita, $24.95. Oh, wow. $14.95 for this? That's the best deal ever. They have some hanging baskets up here, $34.95. But these are not far off. Wow. My word. Okay. Continuing, continuing. 490, 495 Monstera Deliciosa. That is such a deal. 495 for Diffenbachia Reflector. All right, I may have to get that. And up top, they have so many beautiful begonias. Look how lovely. So many different varieties. Lots of angel wing begonias, cane begonias. Really lush. They have some of these um, mandarin spider plants. $5.95. That is by far the best deal I found on this plant. And what's so cool about this is the kind of creamsicle sherbet orange color of those stems. $5.95 is insanely good for that plant. Oh, they have eyelash fern. $8.95. This looks like a dragon tail. $8.95. Some nice asparagus plumosa fern. Some lace. $7.95. Blue Star Fern, $9.95. Yeah, they have some nice ferns. They have Hartley Ferns, $12.95. Crocodile. Excited to check out the Peace Lilies. I'm loving some Peace Lilies lately. Some Domino here. 
um, $16.95. Love a good domino piece lily. The leaves are so great. They have some variegation. They have some texture. The flowers bloom all the time. Oh, guys, they have platinum mist peace lilies. I've only seen these, these one other place. And let's see. $12.95 for these nice large size peace lilies. I'm really hoping we can see more varieties of peace lilies come onto the market. I think any kind of highly variegated peace lily would just be sold out instantly um, if they became available because it is such a wonderful plant. I think we all have our eyes out for some fun variegated varieties. Homolonema selby. So lovely. Some more homolonemas here. Purple sword, $8.95 for the homolonema purple sword. Looks like some deja vu philodendrons. Some interesting variegation looking. $8.95 for these beautiful deja vu philodendrons. Trying to remember as I go to look at the hanging baskets. I get so excited, sometimes I forget. $19.95, philodendron Brazil, $19.95. Look at the fuzzy petiole. This is such a fast growing, easy care philodendron. And when the leaves get really big, it can be confused with like Gloriosum, Pastazanum. It has that same huge shape. These tend to be very lush and full plants, so you're not gonna deal with just one or two leaves. These plants stay full and bushy. They do have fuzzy stems. Um, you know, they can be somewhat prone to pests, I've found. So you just wanna make sure you stay on top of that with like maybe some systemic granules, some neem. Hey, look at that huge leaf back there. And you can usually find them for a decent price. Like these really big ones are $24.95. Um, fabulous, underrated plant. Dang, look at this. <gasps> Wow, you know the last time I was here I bought one of these. Oh, I just looked down at my camera and it's so bright. Let me turn turn this down a bit. Okay, that's a bit better. So this is Ring of Fire, but it is like a golden, yeah, Ring of Fire gold. They're $49.95. I bought one and it was so little. <laughs> I wish I would have waited until I came back. I didn't realize how fast these grow. I need to give mine better conditions because they are beautiful when they're big. Okay, I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, that is so lush. There's only two of them and they're so beautiful and big. Mm, but I bought one last time. Okay, I'll think about it. I have to see what other plants we have here. Um, some more fuzzy petioles. Phil, uh, Moonlight Philodendron, 1995. Macaulay's Finale here. These are all 19. Black Cardinals, 19. Some Painted Ladies. I'm seeing some really lush stunners for Painted Lady here, 49.95. Wasn't expecting much out of this plant when I purchased it. So fast growing, amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend Painted Lady. It's really, really great. And plus, can we just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful it is? The leaves are really nice. And I recently went plant shopping and I mistook um, a different type of plant for a painted lady. And the other one didn't have pink stems, it had green stems. So you might see that one out and about as well. So there's some beautiful pink princess here, $44.95. Look at this leaf. So lush, so pink. Philodendron bipenifolium aurea, $44.95. One of the few places that is offering like aurea or these bright yellow varieties like Ring of Fire Gold. Um, they even had a Warshawesii aurea. Uh, you just don't see them around much. They have Squamiferum, so nice, $39.95. Squamiferum have such a fun leaf shape. They get more and more pronounced the older that they get. They have this red stem and the really fuzzy leaves. Oh, I love it. Golden Milani Philodendron. Milaninii Philodendron. They are $13.95. This one looks like a Prince of Orange. Some Ansonii 14. White Wizard. Oh, these are Golden Goddess. They're 13. 
They have White Wizard. The White Wizards are $49.95. Look at that. Love the white speckled leaves. Okay, this one is White Knight. Let's see the difference. Green leaves, white variegation. Uh, it's a climber. They look similar, but a little bit different. Okay, I see a difference. So the white wizard has definitely has green stems with a little bit of variegation. The white knight has more red candy cane looking stems. And I'd say a bit more on the variegated side. How much are these white? Or the white knights, I mean. Yeah, $49.95 for these white knights. Nice. Cardinals. They have um, Stilts of Pecana, Monstera Stilts of Pecana up here, $34.95. Baltic Blues. True B.I. Moonlight. Imperial Reds are $4.95 for Imperial Reds. They have Gold D.I. $4.95, that has to be the best deal ever. Silver Sword, $4.95, okay. I'll probably have to get one of those. $4.95 for a Silver Sword. You cannot beat that deal, holy cow. Some smaller size Pink Princess, $34.95. Beautiful Birkins. Look at those large silver blue, um, Cebu blue hanging baskets, 19. Some painted ladies here, 24.95. They have some Brantianum, 19. And some little Prince of Orange, 4.95. They do have some more rare plant varieties over here. They have some Melanochrysum, 44.95. Lovely. Um, Philodendron Florida Mint, 149. They have a big Thai Sunshine, 103. Monstera Peru, 69.95 for this beautiful one on the moss pole. They do have tons of different poinsettias. I haven't pointed them out, but they have some really beautiful poinsettias. Um, they have a Philodendron Splendid, this is a wish list plant. I wanted to get a nice size one. It's $44.95, so I may end up getting this one today. It's a, it's a hybrid of Melanochrysum and maybe Varicosum. They also have some beautiful Anthurium Clarinerviums here. They are $149. Coming into arguably my favorite section in the entire store, which is the cactus and succulents and Hoyas. They just have the best selection of stuff that I have never seen before. The prices are amazing. I'm excited just walking in here and looking for two seconds at the plants, like literally right here, let alone all of these plants. This is my happy place, guys. This is my happy place. Now I'm still very much learning about cacti, succulents, so if I come across something that you know is rare or uncommon or interesting or a great deal, please leave it in the comments so I can kind of learn from all of you um, because I am obsessed <laughs> with all of these types of plants. Like I love learning about them. I think they have a wish list plant here already. <gasps> It is the mermaid tail. Yes, I've been looking for one of these forever. Now there's one that you can get at a big box shop that looks kind of like this, but not quite. I can't believe they have one, $14.95. It doesn't have the scientific name on here, but they have a few of them. I am so excited. I'm gonna get a little mermaid or um, pot or something to put it in. Look how cool these are. Oh, I think this one's the best looking, right? Is that the best looking one? Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. You know what I've learned w with my plant shopping is to grab it as I go, otherwise I get scooped up. Ooh, look guys, Hoya Sunrise, oh, $29.95. That is such a good deal. This is one of my fastest growing Hoyas that I have. It's awesome. Look, and this one's sun stressed. 
it's a completely different, mine's very green, but given enough uh, sunlight, you can hear I'm out of breath because I'm excited, given enough sunlight and they turn this beautiful maroon red, oh my gosh, is this one 20 oh it's not for sale, I was about to say I would buy that <laughs> in two seconds, oh Hoya, Wyetii variegated, also a great plant to sun stress. Really easy care plant, $14.95. So beautiful. Wow, there's so many plants. Okay, um, what next, what next? Now some of these have very complicated pronunciation, so I'll just hold it up so you can read it if you're interested. But I like this one because it has the variegation. That's one of the things I've noticed about this nursery in particular. They'll have succulent varieties, but variegated types, and that I've never seen before. So that's a maybe. I just love the way that looks. I wish it was a bit of a fuller basket, but that's so cool. They have quite a few of them. And it's cacti too, like they'll have really cool variegated cacti, um, like cactus and stuff. Uh, the last time I came, I forgot to grab one because I was in a rush and I came back and they were all sold out. And I will also say this about um, Big Bloomers is they turn their inventory fast so it's always new stuff. Like it's different every time I come. Look at all these guys. This is so cool. Opuntia Johnson's Hybrid. And some of these are not for sale. Let's go over here where they, ooh, so I grabbed one of these the last time I came. It's doing so great. It is a Euphorbia Bones. Euphorbia Bones Green, $24.95. I just loved the color of this with the green and the white, and then it has little leaves that it puts out. It's such a cool plant. Ooh, they have Euphorbia Lactea White Ghost Cactus, $29.95. I love this one. I do have one of those in my collection as well that I'm obsessed with. I bought one of these the last time I was here. I just love these little chunky guys, and $4.95 for these huge euphorbia i just had to had to had to had to i also walked out of here with a handful of spines last time so i'm gonna have to be careful euphorbia pineapple plant i always admire this one i think it's so cool i think that's such a neat plant i love it this is interesting some of these i rec recognize euphorbia Platyclada, the dead succulent, $9.95. It doesn't look alive, but it definitely is. Melon Spurge. <laughs> Weirdest name ever. Oh, look at this one. It has like um bright orange spikes. Oh, and it's, um, it grows kind of spiral. They're so small you can't really tell, but they do grow spiral. I wonder what kind this is. Euphorbia clavigera persistens, $9.95. That's pretty. Actually pretty. Again, don't forget to leave your comments on like which ones are really good finds. So I can keep an eye out in case I don't get them this time. This is cool. I've never seen this kind of flat. It's like flat, but also not. <laughs> flat and wide Euphorbia apuntioides, $11.95. It's interesting. Oh, I've always thought these were really cool, these types of euphorbia. I think I have one that's just not big enough. Obisa monstruosa, $11.95. How neat is that? They have the coolest ones. These are um, corn on the cob euphorbia. It's like the layman's name. And they have the variegated ones. And these are big ones. Look at this guy over here. Goodness me. Oh, these are cool. Euphorbia resin. Resinfera, $11.95. Wow. There's so much here. It's amazing. Ooh. $5.95. Euphorbia polyquinta. I, I like this one, how it has like a little bit of white on them. I think. Euphorbia hor. <gasps> Ooh. There was one that I've always been interested in. Is it a horita? because it has really like intense spines, like super intense. I think this might be it. 
They're $4.95. Oh, and this is a neat one. Look at that. How cool is that? Ooh, I like this one too. Euphorbia monodenium. Somehow I've already man I managed to get prickles in my fingers. Euphorbia resinifera. Euphorbia bonsai. Oh, I love these. They're like little trees. These are cool. They remind me of something from like Dr. Seuss because they have the long stems and like the little pom-poms on top. It's a type of euphorbia. How interesting. What is this? Euphorbia white ghost. So it's a smaller white ghost. <gasps> okay. Uh, yes. This one is coming home with me. Oh, Besa, I'm so glad I finally found this one. Oh my gosh. I've been on the hunt for this one my entire plant shopping like journey. Never been able to find them anywhere except when I first started plant shopping at the Victorian Atlanta. And they're $19.95. They're also known, I think, as like the softball euphorbia because they stay round like a little softball. Well, you can check that off the wish list. And at this point there are, I've found, you know, most of my wish list plants, but they have quite a few of them, guys. If you want a Euphorbia obesa, this is the place to come. Oh, they also have Euphorbia snowflake, 995. This is a great plant. I have one of these and I love it. It puts out new pups all the time. It loves a good drink. It's a thirsty Euphorbia. What else do we have here? A steno cactus. I do have one of these. How much do you love those little like spikes on there? $12.95. Look at this beauty. I love them so much. Fellow cactus, hexidrophores, 15. Beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, this place is so amazing. <gasps> Ooh. What are you? You're fun. Spiky though. You're very spiky. Look at you. You're cute when you're little. Look, you look fluffy. But nope. Cute but prickly. So many beautiful ones. They have the little fairy castle, $8.95. Oh gosh, look at this one. I don't think I've seen that kind before. Mammillaria spinosima un pico, $8.95. Oh, this one has little flowers coming out. So nice. Uplamosa, definitely one of my favorites. You can touch those gently. This one made little fruit. So beautiful. What do we have over here? Some interesting guys. They always have the best cacti. I love them so much. Artichoke cactus. You know, I love artichokes. $12.95. I will eat. I love them in every way. Look at this cutie. He's so cute. Let me go close up so you can see how cute he is. I love it. Gosh, they really have so many cool ones. I am obsessed. Ooh, these are pretty. Ooh, they have the pine cone, the tephro cactus. Uh, they have paper spine. A personal favorite and without spines we have 8.95 i recommend if you want one of these get a bigger one i've been seeing them a little bit at big box shops so just keep an eye out you can get like nice sized ones because that's a really fun one to have domino cactus look how pretty these are they look like little stars oh is this a 
lit the world's tiniest astrophytum. They have astrophytum myriastigma here. Look how, <laughs> look how cute that is. Look at it compared to the size of my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, they have a few of them. They're little babies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, here's some, uh, some other astrophytum. It's amazing they have astrophytum. 995 star cactus. My favorite. Astrophy astrophytum is my favorite type of cactus, I think. It's hard for me to pick favorites. I'm not really a favorites girl because it depends on the day with me sometimes. But definitely love some astrophytum. These are beautiful. I haven't seen the ones with the spines like this before. The ones I've seen, I think this is like a bread loaf. Yes, this is a different one. This one has spines. The ones I've seen, it, I have one and it doesn't have spines. That's cool, it's a different one. What else do we have? Oh, guys, more astrophytum. Oh my God. Ooh, look at these ugly guys. Look, they have the round ones. Oh, snap. Oh, look at these little variegated ones over here. They're so small though. Eeks. I love these ugly crinkly ones. But they're so little. Astrophytum Kiko. Oh, and I love, are these the Mario? Asterius. So the Asterius are my favorite Astrophytum. They're kind of round. And then they all have unique um, spots. They have a few different varieties. You know, I've not seen this kind before. This is the Myriastigma Kiko. Maybe Myriastigma? But look, they all are kind of different. This one is called Bishop's Cap. This is Myriastigma. Myriastigma nudum. Nudum because it doesn't have the spines on there, it's nude. Fairy Castle Cactus, variegated fairy cake castle. <sighs> fairy cake. Whew, I'm out of breath. So exciting, so exciting. Look at these guys. They kind of look like cucumbers. Um, Mertillo cactus, geometric. Hmm. Very nice. So that was only this one side. Me look here, we have uh, Deschidia. Um, this is also called Million Hearts. It's a very, very cool plant. 1995. And uh, the variegated ones of that are beautiful as well. Deschidia oanthi. Some nice hanging baskets, 1995. Oantha, Oantha. So pretty. These are pretty. They look like flowers, honestly. Is this the type of Echeveria? No, Aeonum Suncap Farragata. That's beautiful. Oh, I didn't say the price. $4.95. Wow, maybe I'll get one of those. It's really pretty. Whoa, look at this. That's interesting. Kalanchoe Pink Butterfly. Hmm, funky. Oop. Here's the variegated Oyantha 24. There's still so many Hoyas, I mean, all over there. Maybe I'll have to do two parts of this. I don't know, we'll see how long it is. <laughs> I normally don't do videos this long, but this nursery is amazing. I love this succulent. Look at that. Flapjack, $6.95, the colors are really stunning. Kind of picking the ones out that jump out at me. Oh, look, they have Deschidia numillaria, which normally means string of turtles, but this is string of nickels. Very different.
They have some Hoya Wayeti eyes, $17.95. Ooh, Hoya Puba Calyx. They show the bloom too in the pictures with the Hoya, which I think is really interesting. These Hoya Puba Calyx are $14.95. This one caught my eye. Grab Toe Perlatum Mirene Variegata. Kind of different. I do like the little fat round succulents that look like candy. I think those are like these that they're propagating. I love lavender pebbles. $4.95. I think these are just little propagations. These are the rose, the rose succulents. Craptivaria ectovaria, $7.95, lovely rose. I still want to take this Hoya Sunrise home with me. I still think that this one is really cool. Okay, we're almost there. I finished up that aisle, now moving on to this one. Um, there are tons of Silver Glory here. I know this is one that a lot of people have been trying to find. It's $14.95 here. That is such a good deal. I'll probably take one home with me as well. The first time I've seen this, that's crazy. I thought for sure it was just a string of hearts, but it's Silver Glory. It's Serapegia woodii, which is the same um, like species of plants. It's just a different variety and it's very, very silvery. And you can see here how silvery it gets. Such a cool plant, love it. I am literally having such a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Portulaca, $6.95. I had to pick that one up because it's so interesting. Kind of different. Now a lot of these, even though they're for sale, they're still in the beginning stages of, you know, being propagated. That one's pretty purple color. We have some jade. Ooh, here's some crassula. Some different crassula varieties. Here's a variegated watch chain crassula. Crassula. Crassula watch chain variegated 695. I mean, this is the only place I've ever seen that before. We do see these, you know, in the big box shops from time to time. Still really cool succulent, but they have the variegated one here. Insane. This one's another type of crassula. Mucosa large form. So awesome. Whoa. Here's a crassula. Looks like it. Again, they just have these neat. Crassula Moon Glow Variegated, $19.95. They just have really neat plants here. I just love it. Like, what are you? Another type of Crassula Variegated. Some sort of hybrid. Ooh. All right, they have String of Needles, $14.95. Don't see that around. This is so cute, it's like a little baby pine cone. What else? String of Hearts Orange River. Interesting, Orange River. Love it. Let's see if there are any other interesting succulent varieties here. See, this is regular string of hearts. These baskets are $12.95. That's the steal. $12.95 for these huge baskets. String of hearts. Amazing. What are these? String of spades, $12.95. They're very spade-like. Look at that. Interesting, right? String of spades, $12.95. Big baskets of it. Variegated string of hearts, nice basket sizes, $29.95. Ooh, they have variegated bear paws. You guys know I love this plant. This one's $6.95 though, and you know, it has the signature little fuzzy succulenty leaves that look like little paws, but it's variegated. I love it so much. 
So they do have variegated million hearts here, Deshidia, $24.95. Beautiful. Deshidia Wakefield, $19.95. These are cool, I've never seen them before. Hurricane cactus. They're all spirally. That's so cool, $19.95. I'm always entertained by these. <laughs> I think they're so cool. It's like little little candies. Mm. Oh, they have variegated string of pearls. $24.95. Every time I look up, it's something else exciting. These large baskets of uh Oh, string of tears variegated. I've never seen that before. String of tears variegated, $24.95. This place is amazing. Okay, so this is the last section. <gasps> There's amazing stuff in here. So many Hoyas, I'm so excited. <gasps> okay, let's see what I can find. Ooh, okay. Hoya Cunninghamius, $17.95. Really cute. Hoya Curtisii is over here, 19. We have small size of some of the ones we've seen in the hanging baskets for 19, 15. You know, um, we have Hoya Lacunosa here and variegated Wyetii, Croniana, Australis Lisa. Um, let's see what else. Oh, they have obovada. That's nice. You haven't seen that around much. $15.95 for these obovada. You just don't see obovada in Charlotte for some reason. It's such a great Hoya, but we just don't see it that often. Um, Bertonet. Have a lot of Bertonet here. $34.95 for these hanging baskets. I think this one's cute. Hoya Bella. $14.95. It has these cute little petite leaves. Looks like some agave, but let's keep it going with the Hoyas here. Some Lacunosa hanging baskets and Retusas with the really thin, cute leaves, $19.95. Hoya Croniana Super Silver. I bought one of these from here, it's doing great. Hoya Australis, 14. They have a lot of different types of rip salis here. This is Bacifera. These are really beautiful. Let's see. Pachitera. And then they have small rip salis as well. So much rip salis. If you're looking for rip salis and you like interesting varieties, this would be a good place to come visit. Oh, they have silver dollar vine. I have not ever seen this anywhere except Cactus Club, which I bought one when I found it. $14.95. That's so cool. The leaves are very thick and succulenty and looks like a silver dollar. That's crazy they have that here. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Never seen that plant anywhere else except for, like I said, one place. Some more interesting Hoyas, Hoya Croniana Black, $39.95. Hoya Hushkeliana, $34.95. Hoya Carii, $39.95, variegated. It's a good find. Hoya Elliptica, $44. They even have Hoya Finlaysonii. That's so interesting. What is this? Hoya Matil, $39.95. Wow, they're really like getting some awesome varieties. Obavada, $19 for the Obavada. Princess, Crimson Princess. Hoya Sigillatus, I don't have this one. 
It's interesting, 60. I was definitely out of breath and overly excited for that entire plant shopping trip, but I had such a blast and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the neat plants. And I like it because it's different stuff. It's not the same plants as I see all of the time. Really excited to share my haul. First up is a plant that I've wanted for a really long time and it's a Black Pagoda lipstick plant. Now we can blame this one on Wild Fern. Um, I was influenced by a, a post she did on Instagram with her Black Pagoda lipstick plant and its beautiful blooms and I thought, okay, I'm definitely getting one of those. You know, I do have um, a couple different lipstick plants and I love them. I did not think I was a lipstick plant gal, but I definitely am. They're so, so wonderful. And I wanted a good sized one, but they're expensive. So when I saw this Be Healthy Beauty for $13.95, I said, get in my get in my cart. You're getting in my cart, you're coming home with me. And lipstick plants are so easy and they're just amazing. I just love these leaves. You know, the blooms look really cool, but the leaves themselves are a reason to buy this plant. It's amazing. Next up is a beautiful, beautiful confetti syngonium. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this price. $4.95. That is insane. And it's so lush. It has a like lots of plants in there. It's a nice size. I do have another confetti syngonium and I tend to avoid repeating plants in my collection just because I have so many that it can get overwhelming, but I love confetti syngonium so much. And this one has such nice prominent pink variegation that I had to go for it. And there were so many plants there. So this was a great find. It's such an easy, easy plant. Um, the other one that I have is growing in water and really likes it. I'm going to keep this one in soil. I picked up this Ficus Shivariana Moonshine. I'd never seen this type of plant before, this type of Ficus, and it's amazing. It's like this really lime green, dark green, variegated Ficus. The new leaf comes out kind of pink colored. I this plant when I looked at pictures of it online it looks really cool when it's big I'm a little bummed it's not bigger so I'm gonna have to keep it somewhere where I can keep a close eye on it maybe in my kitchen so that I can stay on top of watering it because these little guys they will die quickly if they're not given enough watering and all of that like you don't like I'm not gonna be able to dry this one out but isn't it beautiful can you imagine these leaves are really big? What a unique plant. Again, a unique one I haven't seen around that much. $14. I don't know. I wasn't really excited about that one. Let me know if you know anything about it. Um, okay. <laughs> Next up is this beautiful Philodendron Splendid. You know I had to get this one. I've been wanting a Philodendron Splendid forever, and I double-checked, and yes, it is a hybrid. It's a cross between a um, varicosum and a melanochrysum. And I've heard it's an amazing plant. You know, I did want to get one that was decently sized and this one is, you know, it's not decently sized. I, it will need to go on a bigger plank. It's growing really well. It's been in those super humid conditions though. So fingers crossed it can adjust to regular humidity in my home. What a beautiful plant. I mean, these leaves are insanely beautiful. The bigger they get, the more velvety and luxurious they are. I love how it has like some purple on the back sides of the leaves. It's just such a stunner. I love this plant so much. If you do have any tips, please let me know. I would really love for this plant to get really big and lush and typically for that to happen, you, it needs a good amount of humidity. So we'll see. I'm gonna play around with this plant a little bit. Send over your tips. So the next plant I got was this little um, silver sword philodendron. And can I just say $4.95? Ah, that's insane. $4.95 for this beautiful silver sword philodendron. It looks so happy, so healthy. And you know, silver swords are a wonderful philodendron. I had one for a long time and I forget what happened to it. Something with my move and 
I think it got pests and I'm not sure, but um, it didn't make it, but I've always wanted to give it another go. And I thought for $4.95, I'm gonna give this one a little go. Now I am going to proactively treat all of these plants. Um, when I'm done filming this, I'm gonna take them out of here. I'm quarantine them somewhere. I have more plants that I'm gonna show, but I just wanted to mention, I am going to treat all of these plants and going to spray them down with insecticidal soap. I'm going to proactively put systemic granules. Um, I find that that is the best thing I can do to help prevent pests. Now, if you don't know, silver swords are known for their really long sword-like leaves. The bigger they get, the more sword-like they get. And they just have, it's more the silver color of the silver sword philodendron that stands alone. Um, you don't have many plants like this in the plant kingdom that have like such silvery, silvery leaves. It's a really easy philodendron as well. So I picked up this beautiful Diffenbachia reflector, again, $4.95. And there were still so many other plants I would have gotten for $4.95, but I had to just pick out the main ones I wanted. And I've always been interested in a Diffenbachia reflector. Now when these leaves get really huge, it's very cool because they have like a reflective quality to the leaves. It almost looks like they have little gold flecks in the leaves. Um, and the bigger they get, the more they have this kind of coloration to them. This one has a new leaf coming out. You know, these plants can be kind of expensive if you get the really large plants. So I thought I'd give it a go, see how it goes. I really like Diffenbachias and I don't, this will be my first Diffenbachia. Can you guys believe that? I'm almost ashamed to admit that because Diffenbachias are such terrific plants and I admire them all the time. It looks really healthy though. It has this like nice thick nice thick stem. If you know anything about this plant, please let me know. So now kind of coming into the more succulenty cacti plants, I have five to go. First up is this Silver Glory. Um, it's String of Hearts Silver Glory. This is a rare plant. I can't believe they had all the Silver Glories there. That was insane. And it looks very similar to String of Hearts, except that the leaves are a little bit differently shaped and they are very, very silver. This is a great example of how silvery the leaves are. So it does look slightly different. Given enough light, the more silver they'll get, the more light they are given. And they're a little bit more um, like rounded of leaves. Such a cool plant. You can tell, see that it's been chopped. So it's, it is a fast grower. $14.95 for that. $14.95 for this nice lush basket of silver glory. That seems like a good deal to me. <laughs> da, 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 da. I finally got my hands on a mermaid tail. It's such a cool succulent. Everybody was admiring it when I was checking out. So I'm gonna have to find a little mermaid pot for it because it is such a cool succulent. This is one of those plants on Instagram that I have added as like my favorite that always shows up in my for you page because I have wanted one of these forever and I cannot believe they finally had one. Another wish list item checked off. This was a wish list. The Silver Glory was a wish list. I don't have one of those in my collection. The Splendid wish list, Black Pagoda. So, I mean, there's still more to come. So yeah, it's very successful day. What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Um, it fell over in the car and some of the dirt came out, so I'm going to throw in some more cactus and succulent uh, dirt, but it's like, it's a pretty hardy plant. I think it's so cool. Oh, I am totally obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And this plant can get, it can get really big, like keep growing and turn into like this big mermaid tail fan. My heart, I love it. It doesn't hurt too that I'm obsessed with all things mermaids. I'm sorry, I, all of us are seven year old girls at heart. Next up, another wishless plant. This was probably the biggest surprise of the day, um, or one of the biggest surprises, besides the mermaid's tail, was this Euphorbia obesa. I cannot believe that they had these here. These have been impossible to find. When I say impossible, I mean impossible. And there have been times where I thought I found it and it wasn't an obesa, it was a different type of euphorbia. 
This is so cool. Like I said, it's also known as like the softball euphorbia. Now this one was one of the bigger ones and it was $29.95, but they had one slightly smaller for $19.95, which I thought was a steal. What do you guys think? This one has little flowers on it. I love this one. Next up is another really cool plant and it is a type of astrophytum. And astrophytum are some of my favorite cacti, if not my favorite type of cacti. And there's so many different varieties of them. And this one is really, really fun. I just love it so much. Um, I'd never seen one like it before. It's called an astrophytum Kiko and it was $24.95. They had a lot of different sizes there. I tried to get one that was the largest. You know, they can be somewhat slow growing. It has these really interesting little ridges all around it. Like, look at that. It's so cool. It's just the, one of the things with this particular astrophytum. They had Asterius there, but they were just too small. I really just, I'm so impressed with this plant. I think it's so fascinating. I have quite a little astrophytum collection going. Uh, very happy with that. One plant left and it's this really neat succulent. I don't know why, but it really spoke to me. I think it's so beautiful. I love the variegation. It looked like a bouquet of flowers to me. This, it's a type, it's called Suncap is the name. It was $4.95 and I'm so happy with it. I don't know, it just really is so pretty and it made me happy. I love all the little leaves. I think it's beautiful. And I don't know anyone else that has this plant. I don't know anything about it. I, it just spoke to me and I always just go for whatever plants make me smile. And this one made me smile for sure. So I think it's just such a pretty, such a pretty plant. So I plan on giving it lots of light, treating it like a succulent and it's absolutely beautiful. So those are all of the plants that I picked out today. In love with all of them, so happy with my haul. There were 25 other plants that I would have brought home with me today, but I had to limit it, right? You know, you gotta limit it. There's always next time. So let me know what plants you would have picked up today if you would have been plant shopping. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see future plant shopping and planty videos show up in your newsfeed. And don't forget, if you wanna have your house clean, check out Homaglow. They have that amazing deal where you can get your first house cleaning service for, I think it was $9. I mean, what a great deal. It's helped me no end. I can't even tell you how helpful it's been. I'm putting all my plants back in this little, um, back in the little box so that I can quarantine them before I clean them up. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.